स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन नंबर एट अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड ऑपरेशन ऑन देम सो हियर इन दिस लेसन इन साइड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स लर्न द अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो वीच आर कॉल्ड एज अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो फॉर दैट हियर इट इज वन एक्टिविटी गिवन लेट्स एट द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द स्टिक्स गिवन बिलो सो वी हैव टू टेक द मैथ स्टिक्स एंड दिस एक्टिविटी ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू इन योर activity book or notebook inside you are going to send me so here that math sticks are there no that we have to arrange in the square we have to arrange in the square and then if for making one square how many math sticks are required four i math sticks are required now you have to make that four uh, two squares so here if we join this so how many math sticks are required 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 math sticks are required now if you want to make the three squares then how many math sticks are required 8 9 10 means here 10 math sticks are required in this way if you are increasing the number of squares then here 13 squares are there 13 math sticks are required for that so here for making four such as squares we need the 13 math sticks so in this way if you are increasing the number of squares inside it here then you will understand that the number of math sticks are also increased okay so here according to this here arrangement of the sticks are given for making one square how many squares we made it here only one square we made it and how many math sticks are required here four math sticks are required for making one square so here four means what 3 plus 1 4 4 means 3 plus 1 here they are taken and 3 means what 3 ones are 3 3 ones are 3 means one square three match sticks plus 1 it is required okay so here in this way if you see here for making two square seven match sticks are required seven means 6 plus 1 6 means 6 3 twos are 6 plus 1 for making three such as squares what how many match sticks are required 10 math sticks are required and 10 math sticks are required and that math sticks what happens here if you see here 10 means what 9 plus 1 and 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 is also 10 so in this way if you see here if you want to make here 4 then 4 means 4 for making 4 we seen it now in previous i will show you i shown you 13 math sticks are required 13 means what 12 plus 1 and 12 means what 3 4 is a 12 plus 1 in this way the number of squares if you will increase you will notice that the match sticks are also required in the more the more 3 so here how many match sticks are required so number of sticks is equal to 3 into number of squares if number of square is 1 3 ones are 3 plus 1 means 4 match sticks are required if number of squares are 2 3 to the 6 plus 1 7 match sticks are required if number of squares are 5 suppose we are taking 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 math sticks are required in this way we made a one equation from that we can find the nth number suppose the nth number means what suppose i will take the if i want to make such a 100 squares then how many math sticks are required so for that it's not necessary to draw that every time do this and then uh, find the how many squares are required so you can use the formula so 3 into 100 means 300 plus 1 means for making such a 100 squares 300 and 1 math sticks are required okay so in this way the algebraic expression we made it so here the number of math sticks is equals to what we have to write 3n plus 1 mean number of square plus 1 so here inside it the number of square change it could be any number 2 3 4 10 we do not know the number of squares write the uh, letter in its a uh, place here the number of squares as shown in the letter n n is a variable so the equation is the n means it is changing the number of square increase uh, if we increase or decrease is depends on it and so n is changing and that's why n is it means equation is equal to 3n plus 1 so here 3 1 plus 1 n is the algebraic expression in the nth variable now here all of you understand how the algebraic expression is made this part will not coming for the exam but it its understanding is important now here the additions examples are given 
ओके टेल मी हाउ मेनी बॉल्स आर हियर वन टू वन टू थ्री बॉल्स सो हियर वी रोट इट हियर थ्री बॉल्स हाउ मेनी ट्राइंगल्स आर देयर वन टू थ्री थ्री ट्राइंगल्स आर देयर हाउ मेनी टीज आर देयर हियर वन टू थ्री सो इफ यू डज सी हियर वी काउंट इट एंड वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ मेनी बॉल्स हाउ मेनी ट्राइंगल्स हाउ मेनी टीज आर देयर दैट वी फाइंड इट नाउ टेल मी हाउ मेनी थिंग्स आर देयर हियर इफ वी से दैट वी कैन वी एड द बॉल एंड बैट हियर हाउ वी एड द बॉल्स विद ईच अदर ओके हाउ वी एड बॉल्स विथ ईच अदर इन दिस वे कैन वी एड द बैट एंड बॉल बोथ इन साइड बोथ सो इट्स एंसर इज नो वी कैनॉट एड बैट एंड बॉल टूगेदर वाय बिकॉज द बैट एंड बॉल आर टू डिफरेंट things are there so how many bats are there balls are there here two balls so whenever we are writing two balls and three bats in this way we have to write how many two balls and three bats then here how many mangoes are there and how many guavas are there so here also we can write two guava mangoes and three guavas okay now in the next expression how many x are there 1 2 so 2x and how many y is are there 3y so from this what we are understanding that bat plus doll we cannot add together so instead of this if i will write here 5 then my answer is wrong because here two balls and two bats these different quantities are there okay so same things if i will take here add again i will take if here suppose two balls so then i can add ball plus ball that is four balls i can take but i can add ball into ball ball plus ball bat plus bat okay so we can add it now here in this example inside one more it is there you knows that perimeter of rectangles formula you learn from the fourth standard perimeter area that formula is you learn okay so from this what we are <coughs> understanding that what is the perimeter of rectangles formula 2 into length plus breadth 2 into length plus breadth so here length we can add breadth we can uh, length plus breadth means its measures we can add okay now here this is the formula for the perimeter of rectangle now if you see here here it is what is written 3n plus 1 3n plus 1 this is one algebraic expression 3t it is also algebraic expression 2x plus 3y it is also algebraic expression and 2 into bracket l plus b it is a algebraic these are the algebraic expression and inside the algebraic expression suppose it is we are taking only 3 t so t is a variable variable means which is changing variable means which is changing and 3 is a constant or coefficient we can call to it it is a coefficient okay so 3 is a coefficient and t is a variable so here inside also 3n plus 1 inside 3 is a constant and n is a variable one is constant now here in this way the constant and variables make the what the algebraic expression Okay, so let us learn inside what they gave us. Just we will see. In expression three x three. Just now I told you three x three is a coefficient means number is a coefficient. It is a constant. Its value is not changing. So it is a coefficient and the x is a variable. It is changing. That's why it is called as a. It varies. It varies. It's changing. That's why it is called as a variable. Okay, now we will see expression fifteen minus fifteen t inside. Minus fifteen is a coefficient and t is a variable. Okay, so here it was written minus fifteen is a coefficient and the t is a variable. An expression in which multiplication is only operation is called as a term. Okay, if you will see here three x. Or minus fifteen t. Here only one operation is there, and that is the multiplication in between x and three. In between fifteen minus fifteen and three, there is only one expression, and that expression is called as a multiplication. And if such a t things are there, this is called as a 
term. This is called term. So minus 15t is a term. 3x is a term. In this example inside, 3n is a term. 3n is a term. 1 is a term. 3t is term. These are the terms. And terms come, to, come together and it forms the monomial, binomial, trinomial. They forms. Okay. So here it is the example that is term inside coefficient and variables we have to write. So it is very easy. Just now I told you that is 11 mn. So 11 is a constant term. It is called as a coefficient. And m and n it is changing. That's why it is called as a variable. Understand? Next example is the minus 9 x cube y cube. So minus 9 is a constant. So it is called as a coefficient. And x and y are the variables. They are changing. That's why they are called as a variable. Now 5 upon 6 is a constant. So it is called as coefficient. And p is a variable. A you will say that teacher a doesn't have any coefficient but where there is a no number there one is present so one is a coefficient and a is a variable okay so so the one is a coefficient and a is the variable for this here in the algebraic expression 4x square minus 2y and then here it is given that phi upon 6xy okay the 4x square is the first term. Here how many terms are there? Tell me now. First term, second term and third term. Okay. Terms definition inside I what I told you. There is only one operation in between the uh, numbers and the variable. And that operation is the multiplication. Then we can say that it is a term. So here three terms are there. First term is this. Second term and this is the third term. Okay, so in first term inside that is 4x square, 4 is a coefficient and x square x is a variable. Okay, so 4 is a coefficient in it. Minus 2y inside, minus 2 is the second term and coefficient of this is the minus 2. Coefficient is minus 2 wanted here. Okay, it was inside. And 5 upon 6xy in xz inside, 5 upon 6 is a coefficient inside it. So, the algebraic expression minus 15 minus x has a two terms, okay. So, if you move here upside, 15 minus x, no, they are not taken example from there. So, 15 minus x has a two terms, which are those terms? This is the constant 15 term and x and in between them the minus sign is there and terms definition is there. If there is a multiplication, if a only one term is there, then there will be multiplication sign. So, the first term is the 15 is a number and second term is minus x and the coefficient of the variable yeah, minus x coefficient is the minus 1. The term which have the same variable they are called and same power they are called as a like terms. So, like terms means here it is given. Here are some terms given. Here only x is there. Here also only x is there and here also only x is there. So, these 2x, 5x, minus 2 upon 3x, these are called as a like terms. These are called like terms because variable is same, its power is also same. Okay. Now, in this example inside also if you see, then minus 5 and 6 upon 7. Here variables are x square y and here y x square. Here position is changing but x power is 2 only here also. The power of x y x square I will write here y x square. Its position changes but multiplication inside positions there is no problem because if you are writing 3 2 is a 6 and 2 into 3 also 6 its value is not changing means if position is changing there will be no problem but problem is there if index is changing so here x index is 2 here also x index is 2 here is y's index is 1 here 1 so the minus y x square y and 6 upon 7 y x square are also the like terms okay now we will see the unlike terms which unlike terms here a group of there are three terms given here the variable is x and y only, x and y only and then
एंड हियर सेवन एक्स वाई नाइन वाई स्क्वेर हियर द वेरिएबल इज वाई स्क्वेर हियर वेरिएबल इज एक्स वाई हियर एक्स वाई इज देअर बट विथ एक्स वाय झेड इज ऑल्सो देअर विथ एक्स वाय झेड इज ऑल्सो देअर सो इफ यू सी हियर ऑल द टर्म्स द वेरिएबल्स आर डिफरंट द वेरिएबल्स आर डिफरंट एंड दैट्स वाय दीज टर्म्स आर कॉल्ड ऐज अ अनलाइक टर्म्स दीज टर्म्स आर कॉल्ड ऐज अनलाइक टर्म्स इफ यू सी हियर ऑल्सो एट एम एन हियर एम एन हियर एम स्क्वेर एन स्क्वेर यम एन इज देअर बट पॉवर इज डिफरंट इंडेक्स इज डिफरंट हियर ऑल्सो यम यम क्यूब एंड यन गिवन सो यम क्यूब केम हियर सो हियर द पॉवर्स आर डिफरंट ओके एंड दैट्स वाय दीज टर्म्स आर कॉल्ड ऐज अ अनलाइक टर्म्स ओके सो इन दिस वे टुडे वी सीन द एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन हाउ इट वॉज फॉर्म एंड लाइक एंड अनलाइक टर्म्स ऑल्सो वी सीन सो टुडे वी विल स्टॉप हियर ओनली एंड द नेक्स्ट टाइप्स ऑफ द अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन वी विल सी इन अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो टुडे वी विल स्टॉप हियर ओनली ओके थैंक यू एंड हैव अ गुड डे